Hello! During the last Team Next Fest, I played a bunch of demos and Go Go Town was one of them. It is from Australian game developer Prideful Sloth. The game launched for early access via Steam in June 18th. It's been holding me captive ever since I started playing it. Go Go Town is a town building slash town management simulation game. It's vibrant, it's hecking cute and I'm vibing the music in it. So I wanted to do a little overview and show how the game looks like. Okay, so you pretty much start without nothing. Uh, you arrive to this town. Mine is obviously already built up. I'm in the middle of it. Um, but you, you start with nothing. You don't have no shops, no tourists, nothing. You get a phone call. I think it was your boss. And they declared that you're now a mayor of this run-down tourist attraction. Of course, your goal is to make this flourish again. Oh my god, here's so much people. Let's, let's uh, get my bike and... Get away from here. So yeah, you find out uh, there is like little agents appearing in your empty town and they will give you various tasks to do first before you can open up your town for tourists. If I remember correctly, I only started playing this a little while ago, but I have already forgotten. But they introduce you to basically all these four different zones. Here's a farming zone. Uh, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, these are of course. Oh my god, that was a chicken! Oh, high five! Yay! Am I able to. Oh no! Am I able to hop into my bike? Please! 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 Oh, I am I am so sorry. Let's put that back. Yeah, these are obviously empty when you start. Here is the fishing zone. You get all the fish and crabs and all that sea creatures. And if we go here, here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Ah, wrong way. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you can hit people. Oh my goodness. I think they're going to give me a really bad review. Here is the lumber zone where you get your wood and fabric and paper and all that kind of stuff. And here is the mining zone where you get your ores and diamonds and all that right here. Once you have done a few of these quests uh, from these little agents and you have opened your first shop, you're gonna open your town to the tourists and townies. And let's see the phone app here. Here in Ecotech, this is the place where you basically get all the new shops. Yeah, you, you start with the tier zero. That is free. I have already purchased all of the tier upgrades, but in all of the upgrades there is a new piece of crafter or a new decorational item, house, uh, so on and so forth. And this is how you like build up your town when you unlock these tiers. In the start you have like a maximum cap of gold coins and that echo currency. And it increases depending on your tier. When you have unlocked all the tiers you are able to then earn infinite amount of money and echo. I'm not sure is it uh, uh, capped also but pretty much infinite so in early on you better start spending it on the tiers and the items if your balance is capped that is a smart move to do in the phone app we have also widgets so this is really nice this this here is basically your screen like right now i have my wallet in here as you can see both currencies and that town ranking and then you, you can add here different type of widgets if i want time i can put it in anywhere in these slots like let's put it here and then let's say I want a mini map down here you can see now that I can customize the UI the way I want I usually like quite minimal I play usually my currency is showing and nothing else so this is quite nice that they have this option in here oh this is dirty it's gonna be soon broken do I have a bubble blower oh, oh my god I am so sorry I have a bubble blower no someone is using my bubble blower dang it there go and clean that thing go and wash it so Oh, and yeah, there's two, there's two different NPCs. There are townies and there are tourists. Right now, there is a certain amount of uh, townies you can invite to your town because you need workers in your shops <laughs> and in the working zones. I'm gonna take my truck. Where is it? Here. Your goal is, of course, invite all the townies you can. Tourists and townies, of course, arrive from the train station here and you recognize the townies 
by the thought bubble on top of them. What you want to do is go talk to them, of course, and you get the option to invite them to your town. Most of the time, the townies have requirements uh, before you can invite them in. Some may want uh, uh, to have a juice bar in your town before they want to move in. Some want uh, three portable toilets <laughs> before they want to move in. Then your job is uh, to provide them that. It might take a while. It depends how much money you have and all that. But the best part is they always come back. So at least in the start, uh, you should come here quite often to see what kind of townies you have in a certain day so you can invite them. Of course, you need uh, to have housing for them. So you basically manage everything in this game. You manage who works in the shops, you manage who lives in where. Uh, if you go close to, for example, any building, you can manage here. You can uh, customize the colors of these houses and you can manage who lives in these. Same thing in shops. I have my uh, tourism hub over here. You can actually, this is so cool. You can build your own mascot in this. This is mine. But yeah, you basically manage the workers in here. In the shops, you manage the recipes and the worker and of course the look of the look of the shop and so on and so forth. It's really, really nice. So I have seen a people comparing this a lot to Animal Crossing. Yeah, they have like this, this similar minimalistic graphic style, but in my opinion, the similarities ends there. Um, because in Animal Crossing, they pretty much hold your hand and show you what to do. But in this, you kind of have to figure things on your own and that is the fun part of this. I figured out a couple things which I was like My flappers were gassed. I didn't know you could do certain things. Y you need to run errands constantly, which is so fun. I love checking that my businesses and uh, crafters work and my my employees behave the, the sausages are always sold out my town love sausages let's just make a few more so this might feel like taunting at first but when you oh why here is a rogue cheese but when you like find your own rhythm and get to know your town this becomes really quickly really satisfying to play i just love like running around even though you are a mayor that doesn't mean that you are just sitting on your office and doing nothing you need to make sure like i said you need to make sure that your businesses are up and running uh they have all the resources they need and your work zones are orderly and there's no punishment of you doing like things slowly it's all about you and how fast you want the money flow <laughs> you just need to keep your tourists happy and money coming and talking about the happy tourists uh you have a tourist tracker in your phone and you can see here what the tourists are thinking of your town in real time right now i'm only having happy faces uh zero angry faces or sad faces everything counts like if uh, all the decorational items and shops and everything photo booth even this uh <laughs> this little right over here these like all counts uh, if your town is like super empty, then uh, tourists don't have that much to do. And same thing, same thing with the sad faces. If people are like, oh, usually in my case, my vending machines are empty because uh, at this time on early access, you need to fill up them yourself. It would be cool if you could like assign certain like storage and vending machines. What do you want to store in them? So your couriers then build them up but yeah let's see has anyone given me a sad face not yet i usually have like few of them but not too many anymore but yeah that's funny to see and then you can you know improve your town based on those reviews all right and now i want to look at the roadmap a little bit okay so i'm now in their community page in steam um let's see here major update one wheels in motion july you'll have a really good time this update will focus on and transportation in its various forms making it easier to move people and 
and items around the game world. Because right now we are not able to use the transportation when we are holding tools like fishing rods, uh, drills, bubble blowers and so on and so forth. You can go significantly faster with, with uh, transportation like bicycles and cars. So this would be much faster and much more satisfying that you could just you can just drive around with your tools in your hand vehicles with tools yay tools on the go trailers towing and mobile storage solutions this is cool new vehicles get from a to b in style or the opposite of style no judge <laughs> i can see this what, what was this called Oh my god, I, I had a huge brain fart. Segway! Segway! Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Major update 2. Coco Town is being something something. There's a crossover coming. What could it be? Hmm. I do not have no idea. Uh, Major update 3. Industrial Dawn. November. Details revealed in August slash September. I'm also uh, uh, really excited about these features. Not yet scheduled, but on our radar network co-op i haven't tried the co-op yet anyways so full zone customization uh this is kind of nice right now you can customize your uh working zones uh lumber zone or fishing zone and i think there was talk about that you are able to also uh expand them at some point make them bigger large scale construct investment player house i am super excited about this player house house player pets this is so nice photo mode this i'm really excited about uh and in my opinion if they are gonna have the photo mode i think the tiny clay type of photo mode would be perfect for this game like you you just make everything look like that much tinier and cuter i think uh, the tiny clay photo mode style would be perfect for this game building upgrades and festivals this is cool so there is uh really exciting things to look for i am really excited about these and they are also saying in the end this roadmap will continue to be refined over the time to better reflect community feedback and development priorities thank you for taking part in our early access uh i am not quite sure because um well i joined in their official discord just like a day or two ago so i think they had like a community vote what they want in major update one i am not 100 percent sure of that if i understood correctly but these might have changed like the content of this major update to one two three and so on hello editing in here so yes there was a vote between wheels in motion pack and a player suggestion pack and the player suggestion pack won as you can see and here are the features what we can expect from this upcoming update expanded player and town cosmetics a new area of the town map opens new tourist teleporter that ensures tourists can reach the new building area extend some zones to give a bit more space and that might also include uh, a zone customization but that was marked as a stretch goal now this doesn't mean that the wheels in motion pack is scrapped this just means that they are concentrating on these features first okay let's go back to the clueless m all right so oh it's raining in my game <laughs> let me know if you have played go go town the any of the demos or now the early access and your thoughts of it i am really curious oh i love seeing people just coming and going <laughs> What's happening over here? Oh my god, he is throwing out rainbow. So <laughs> that coffee is ruined. Yeah, there's obviously people. Like you can see he is a little bit unkept. <laughs> and they obviously smell and that affects also other people. Uh, it helps if you have a bubble blower and you wash them. That makes them super happy. Yeah, so this is uh, this is my last video before my summer vacation. So uh, I'm going to be away a couple of weeks. Um, and there's not going to be any videos during that time. I hope all of you have a really nice summer. Eat a lot of ice cream, uh, bathe in the sun and all that. And I will see you very soon. Bye!